Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. Wanted to do another video update on my Nectar foam bed. Uh, please, I'll go ahead and put some cards on top of the screen here so you can go back and see my other videos on this bed. This is a little bit over one year now that I've had this. I actually got this in July 2000. 19 so we are now recording this in late yeah, mid september 2020 so i've been sleeping on this bed pretty much every night for a year now uh you may be able to tell that i sleep on this side of the bed because well the nightstand's on that side of the bed and the pillow you can tell that it's a little bit more deflated than the other one Although I do rotate my pillows, uh, I don't know, every time I clean my sheets, to be honest with you, and that's at least once a month, about once a month. Um, so with this bed too, uh, a lot of people are wondering, do you flip this bed like you used to flip spring mattresses? I do not flip this bed. I do rotate it. So probably here in the next two or three weeks, well, certainly within the next month, I'm going to rotate the bed so then this side, where my feet is at here, will then end up over here. So I'll just rotate it 180 degrees. Um, you don't want to flip these beds because of the layers that are in the mattress. You never want to flip it upside down because then you won't be using the mattress the way it's supposed to be used. So I do, and I have, rotated my mattress it, uh, probably about every three to four months throughout this year that I've been sleeping on it. So you definitely want to do that. Um, again, because I have been doing that, and this is over a year now that I've had the bed, you can kind of see how much wear and tear is on the bed. And I will also say, if you watch my previous videos on this bed, I'm a very large guy, um, six foot five, six four, between six four and six five. Uh, my weight's anywhere between, you know, 270 and 280, 285, depends on the time of the year, to be honest with you. So I'm a very big, tall guy. I'm a football playing offensive lineman or defensive lineman, basically. Uh, and you can see me in those other videos laying on the bed. I'm going to keep myself off the bed here today. But I did want to just show you that I'm not getting a whole lot of wear and tear. This is a one-year update on my bed. It's still treating me very well. The pillows, you can open up. There are zippers on them. So you can open them up. They are very, very firm and very thick. So I have not taken anything out of them. I have not taken any cushion out of them. You can very much do that if you find that they are too high or too too bulky for you. I've just left them as they are before these pillows. And I've been sleeping with these pillows for the for the last year. I did have a my pillow, which I also actually enjoyed. But since I got this, uh, this bed and these pillows, I've been religiously sleeping on this bed with these pillows. Um, whoops, just hit the tripod there sorry about that so you can maybe kind of tell uh, again that I lay on this side of the bed because the white top is over here you can kind of see the blue line going around here it's slightly being pulled this way so once I rotate this uh, maybe once I start laying on this side it may start pulling again this way it's not really that bad to be honest with you I just kind of notice that the white goes over this side and it's kind of right here and it's only like maybe an inch difference to be honest with you and that's not a big deal it doesn't affect the way you're sleeping on the bed down here you see that I do have this on a very simple box spring so that's how I chose to do it um, I don't know and I believe you can just put this right on a um, what's the other bed the purple's bed the purple bed or the Casper bed. I know you can just put it right on a frame without a box spring, but I wanted my bed because I'm tall. I wanted my bed up. I didn't want it down on the ground. And plus, I'm a middle aged guy. I'm in my early, early 50s. So I don't want to be getting up from a bed that's basically on the floor. So 
that's where I'm at now. Just wanted to give a fairly short update with this. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I do a lot of different things on this channel um, all over the place. Just kind of have fun with it, but I thought it was probably time to do a new update on the Casper bed. I paid, what, just a hair under $800 for the mattress, and I got the pillows free when I did it. I believe I saw somewhat recently. I mean, you can get this bed for five or $600 maybe some places, and I'm, I've been very happy with it, and I enjoy it. They say that you can, uh, you're supposed to switch beds about every 10 years. I'll be curious in nine years where I'm at with this bed, to be honest with you. Um, I'd like to get more than 10 years out of it, but we will see at that time. But uh, nonetheless, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my knowledge, the best of my ability. And I uh, always appreciate people that come back and watch my videos. Um, yeah, we will see you guys on the next video and uh, may do a update on this down the road. But again, you just want to rotate the bed. You don't want to flip it. And uh, hey, it's been a thumbs up for me. Been two thumbs up for me. I'm, I've been satisfied. All right. Take care. Have a great day. We will see you on the next video.